Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I want to talk to you today about the seven marks of a true believer in Jesus Christ. It all comes out of the first epistle of John, and we see in it seven marks or pieces of fruit that demonstrate the change in your character when you're a true born-again believer. The first of these is a belief and an outward confession that Jesus is the Son of God. In uh, 1 John chapter 4, verse 15, it reads this way, Whoever confesses that Jesus is the Son of God, God abides in him, and he in God. 1 John 5, 1 says, Whoever believes that Jesus is the Christ is born of God, and everyone who loves him, who begot, also loves him who is begotten of him. That means you'll not only love the Lord, but you'll also love the brothers and sisters who are fellow members of the body of Christ. So the first mark of a Christian is belief and an outward confession and living that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. The second mark of a person who is a true Christian is that the Holy Spirit of God is working within that person. In 1 John chapter 3, verse 24, it says, Now he who keeps his commandments abides in him, and he in him. And by this we know that he abides in us by the Spirit whom he has given us. 1 John 4.13 says it this way, By this we know that we abide in him, and he in us, because he has given us of his Spirit. So we said a person who believes with your heart and confesses the Lordship of Jesus Christ is born again. And that's not something that's done in your own strength. You and I just cannot become a Christian by saying, I'm just going to try harder to be a Christian in my life. It requires you uh, actually admitting to God that you have failed Him, that you've committed sin against Him and against others, asking Him for forgiveness and He will give you forgiveness, inviting Him to come into your life as you believe on Him and receiving Him as your Savior and the Lord of your life. And when that happens, the Holy Spirit of God, God comes to abide in you. You, in fact, become the temple of the Spirit of God. And when He's living in you, He enables you to do all the things that reveal to others you're changed, you're a child of God. The third mark of a Christian is loving obedience to God's Word. You know, when you actually submit yourself to say, okay, I'm going to seek to be a child of God, I want to be obedient to Him. 1 John 2 verses 5 and 6 say, Whoever keeps His Word, truly the love of God is perfected in Him. By this we know that we are in Him. He who says He abides in Him ought Himself also to walk just as He walked. One of the things that happens as you grow as a Christian, become a disciple, is you become more and more like Jesus Christ in the way that you think, the way you talk, the more you act toward others, your availability to serve others before yourself, that is entirely a work of the Spirit in you when you're born again, loving obedience to the Word of God. Jesus said it this way, He who has my commandments and keeps them, it is he who loves me. And he who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him, and I will manifest or reveal myself to him. That's the first three, three marks of a Christian. The fourth one is to walk in love. John 13, 35 says, By this all will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. That is one of the most profound marks of a Christian, a born-again person, is this unconditional love that you have toward one another. When someone says, I love God and hates his brother, that person is a liar. There's no way you can say, I love God, but I hate my brother and sister. Friend, if you do not love fellow Christians, you need to examine your heart because there's something spiritually wrong in you. And I'm saying that because I love you and I want you to enjoy a relationship with God and with fellow Christians. The fifth one is grief over sin. When you see people who commit sin, what it says is they're getting ready to experience consequence. Whoever abides in him does not sin. Whoever sins has neither seen him nor known him. Little children, let no one deceive you. He who practices righteousness is righteous, just as he's righteous. He who sins is of the devil. 
So friend, if you have a, a tendency in your life to keep going back to sin, going back to sin, going back to sin, I gotta say to you, you need to examine yourself. Do you really believe? If you commit a sin and you're under a lot of conviction about it and you wanna make it right, you go to God and say, God forgive me, and you wanna ask others to forgive you, that's a sign you're truly a born again Christian, okay? Sixth one is the love of the brethren. I already mentioned it, I'm gonna mention it again. 1 John 5, 1 says, whoever believes Jesus is the Christ is born of God, and everyone who loves him, who begot, also loves him who is begotten of him. It means one of the changes God works in your life or in mine is to actually cause us to love one another no matter what, unconditionally. And the seventh thing is a life of prayer. You know, when you really love God and you know God, you want to talk to him. Prayer is just a communication. It means I talk to God and I'm quiet and I listen to God. One way I can listen to God is when I read the Bible. It's actually his words written down on paper. So when I read it, I'm hearing the voice of God talk to me. If you're a Christian, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you're not, I want to invite you today to put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ and allow him through the Holy Spirit to develop these seven marks of a Christian in your own personal life. God bless you.